Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Factorio, where we stand in the midst of our yellow science factory, also known as utility science that we set up last time. And you can see we have produced some, but currently we are lacking the iron, and that among other things will be something that uh, i try to address today few episodes back we cleared out quite a bit of room here i uh, called that uh, um, making room for expansion and i think today first thing will be hooking up uh, this iron ore patch and this copper ore patch so basically um, extending the, uh, the rail squares downwards and uh, then all we can see about other modification to pro improve the system so we can actually produce more signs because if we look well, let's have a look at the at the last hour there we have we have produced all our yellow signs in the last hour and we have produced about double the amount of purple signs i think all the uh yeah but uh we produced ton more of military signs i think no other one because uh, uh all the all the chests are full there so I will grab, I can get rid of this, we don't need that anymore, but I probably need a bit more rail, um, okay, let's have that up to 800. And then I should have enough to extend the, the rail squares uh, down into that direction so we can actually build up um, some more mining patches and pickup stations. The extension is completed and with that far out I'm thinking it's more beneficial if we have uh, ore fields that would be covered by rail tracks to not uh, fill in the rail tracks but to uh, allow the whole field to be mineable because we have quite a lot of space that's not covered by ore fields that we can use for our factories so we have one field here that's over over two squares one field here that's over four fields not that we would probably place any rails here on this side um, but now uh, we can think of how we uh, we want to to uh, then do the the loading so I'm thinking here and the question is up here we have two stations for the ore loading and at present I would say it's would probably be better if we only had one because as you can see the the stations or the, the belt uh, just cannot deliver uh, enough ores for the train to load and there are already uh, three stations more uh, waiting to be to be loaded so let's have one station here and see how this goes 
and then maybe we can have another station there then naturally go into the waiting area right so then from here we would go out and have something like this Right, then maybe one last here on this side, and then here at the front we need these signals, and that leaves room for one train so then now we have to connect this up to here that should work And the way we have a bit of a stretch here basically allows to have all these things connected. There. And we need the end signal here on all of those there and then on signal here and this one needs to move to there so with that we have one two three four five waiting stations um, this will be iron ore field and we will have a train limit of, of two here and of three here, right? And then we only have to add in the, the loading station. And maybe this time we can do it a bit better. Um, right, like this. But then have two belts feeding in here and that should increase the uh, actual throughput that we have on there. So if we copy that. here at the power then we only need to fill in the ore field for which we have 
have set up somewhere in here. Yes, we have. Um, and we will just place it like this. and let the robots build it then we will have a merge station here on this side uh, that combines everything to four output belts and that should give us the optimum output that we can have and then we do something similar for the for the copper field down here and that should solve our um, ore supplies. Um, what we might need to do, as we see up here, um, not enough coming through. Maybe disable one station completely and ensure that the other one gets a bit more uh, um, of the ore. Um, delivered right let me or let the robots finish this setup and then we can uh, see how the end result looks for copper and then fix up the original iron ore field we have the two ore stations in place and they are producing uh, up here I had to use uh, two balances because we had 10 output lines and I only had a blueprint for uh, eight input lines but uh, if we uh, split them up five and five and then combined two output lines again that should get everything evenly balanced and we have already copper trains waiting here not yet for iron ore because i think one of the problems is is this here um we want to to disable this train station so all the trains would go to to that one so we can even remove that there and I think the the way to to update this is uh, I have all this going to red and then these are the main three input lines so uh, there we also update to red and uh, that should give us more throughput and once this train is full we can then redirect this line to here update this piece and then we probably also need to update those because then we have two red belts coming into the splitter. Oh, yeah. And we have to empty out the chests here. We can directly add them. Don't need this station anymore and that means here we can have tr three trains waiting uh, but that then also means we should have trains coming down here if this station is full so I'm thinking the next thing we have to consider is uh, the yellow and purple signs which 
is just not producing fast enough. So uh, let's see what we can do about that one. The only way we can get more out of uh, this is by doubling and tripling up. If you remember, uh, the yellow and the purple signs, they have about an output of uh, 0.25 uh, bottles per second and all the others are way above one science pack per second. So we will need to have quite a few more of yellow and purple production to match the production of the other ones. But that poses a problem because if we then have multiple factories, we also have multiple stations to pick up the science packs and most of them will just have a few science packs in there. And the way around this is uh, first uh, a few more um, logical wires. We can connect all the chests and then hook up the station. And then we say disable, enable, here the yellow bottle and the train can hold 8000. So if we say we have more than 7000 in here, we enable this station. So the train will sit at our um, at our unloading station uh, at the lab until there is one station that has uh, enough uh, new science packs or almost enough in order to fill up uh, the train quickly before making the return trip. And that way we also should only need one train for that. And then here is a trick I can use to basically save on these wires. Uh, we copy that over to here and like magic the wires appear. And let's add that to, to all our signs factories even if we uh, at least for now will not need it for most of them and all that we still need to do is then hook up the, the stations with the last chest there and set up the, the proper condition there but with that done we can just grab everything from here, search out uh, a nice square, For example this one, pop it down and here we also need to finish off square right and let's actually have two of those that should bring us almost up to uh, to one science pack per second and then we can do the same thing for uh, for purple and have actually better better production going. So this will take a while until everything is built up and uh, I will not bore you with, with all the details 
uh, but bring you back once everything is built for yellow signs as well as purple. Once again the robots had their work cut out but we have one, two, three uh, production productions and also three utility science production and if we look at uh, the production rates over the last hour uh, for the purple one we can nicely see how that stepped up um, for utility we are down to zero and that's basically because we do not have the copper uh, because all trains are waiting up here for uh, loading there uh, and it's it's just not fast enough and I would guess we have no trains down here where we would have ton of copper uh, this station seems to work fine ish if we did not had forgotten the, the signal there um, Coal is also a bit of a, a sore point. Uh, we are not loading fast enough. We still have enough ore in here. But what I did here is basically limit this station to two trains. So one in the station, uh, one in the waiting bay. So that should reduce the amount of trains coming to here. But um, as, as we saw, um, we have higher production rates here, uh, 16 per minute or 11 per minute. Um, still not on, on the level of the, the next lowest, uh, which is military science. Could also be chemical science, but I don't think we produced any no but once we have one um, one train load full of these we can then proceed with future research but I think that's that's all for for today and probably next time will be some more tweaking and optimization to get things running just a tad bit smoother uh, before we then take the next uh, big step. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time. Goodbye!